Hi, I'm Ukulele Ben, and we're going to play the Irish Rover today. Hi everyone, um, I'm just going to do a tiny tutorial on the Irish Rover, a wonderful song that's part of Irish folk, uh, probably most famous recently, I say recently, about 30 years ago, with uh, the Dubliners and the Pogues playing it together. Now it's a very straightforward song, but it's a bit pacey, a very busy kind of song, and it's just four little chords with it, but it's the pace and the stops, that's the hard bit. So, your first chord is the G. So pointy finger, second fret on the C string, middle finger on the second fret on the e, A string, and on the E string with the ring finger. C is just the ring finger on the third fret of the A string. The D, I've been showing you all sorts of different things. That's So the way I'm doing it is holding down the two the G string and the C string with the pointy finger and middle finger on the second fret of the E string and the E minor, the E minor comes in two ways pointy finger behind the second fret middle finger on the A string on the E string the third fret with the middle finger and on the C string the fourth fret of the C string yes and it sounds like this or you can play without the middle finger with and without Straightforward stuff. Okay, and the song's really easy to play, but it is the pace, and I'll show you a few things I want to do with the um, the chorus, but I'll play it first and we'll go with that, okay? On the 4th of July, 1806, we set sail from the sweet cove of Cork. We were sailing away with a cargo of bricks from the Grand City Hall of New York. Was an elegant craft, she was drift off an aft, and oh how the wild wind drove her. She should several blast, she had twenty seven masts, and they called her the Irish Rover. So the verse and chorus, the verse is really straightforward because you're just going up and down and up and down and up and down as it shows on the uh, readout I've given you but the chorusy bits are like this so there's a stop here one and two and stop one and two and stop and then it carries on so it goes like this twas a wonderful craft she was rigged for the left oh how the wild wind drove her she said several blasts she had 27 masts you see bum 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 stop bum 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 stop and that's it. Straightforward. Bum, 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 stop. Do you remember last time we looked at the uh, stop? One and two and stop. One and two and stop. Four, one and two and three. Four. We had one million bags of the best Lego rags. We had two million barrels of stone. We had three million sides of old blind horses' hides and four million barrels of bones. We had five million hooks and six million dogs and several million barrels of water. We had eight million pails of more many dog tails and the hold of the Irish Rover. Now the last verse, the last verse is a little different because we do a slow down bit and a one, two, three, bum, bum, bum. So I'll show you it and then it's better to show you rather than explain it. Okay, you ready? We sailed seven years when the measles broke out and the ship lost its way in the fog. And that whale of a crew was doomed down to two, just myself and the captain's old dog. Then the ship struck a rock, oh lord, what a shock! The ball kept to right over. Turned nine times all around, and the poor old dog drowned. I'm the last of the Irish Rover. Easy, easy. Keep strumming, keep playing, and I love you all. God love you. See you later.